Hey guys, um, I this is Jasper Gregory, uh, your your psychogeographer for for Occupy Bay Area. I am up at Berkeley at Occupy Cal. Um, Cal is what they call UC Berkeley. It's kind of like nobody who's not from here knows that. So it's not, not a very useful name. Interesting thing is this is a very, very historical spot. Because this is where the student movement was born in Berkeley. This is where the civil rights jumped its banks in the south of the United States and and uh, I'm not mixing metaphors. Uh, Berkeley Free Speech Movement 1964 happened on this plaza. This is Spruill. Spruill. And this is where Occupy, yeah, Occupy Cal, the Berkeley students are. <laughs> and so this is Occupy Cal right now. They're, they're still figuring out how to get mass, but you know, they're, they're occupying the you know, Kruber Hall tomorrow, so we may have one of these big historical junctures, like in Berkeley in 1964. So anyway, I thought I'd share that to you with you. Um, maybe I'll walk just a little so you can see. Okay, here we go. Here is the building. These steps are called Mario, shit, what is it, Savo? Mario Savo steps. And they're named after a student at Berkeley who started this big Occupy kind of thing. So where we're looking right now, there was a, in 1964, there was a cop car right, you know, I guess right around here. I need to check more. But it looks like it was right around here. And it was taking away people who had been manning tables for civil rights organizations, CORE, the Congress on Racial Equality, and SNCC, uh, Student Nonviolent <laughs> Coordinating Committee. So... They had set up tables. The university said, no, you can't. You can't do any politics here. These kids had all been down in Mississippi for the Freedom Summer. You know, they were, you know, part of that really bloody summer in Mississippi fighting for the right to vote. They came back here and they created this huge sit in thing, this huge civil disobedience. They said, yes, we will have our organizing here. You can't deny us our free speech. And so this cop car was this cop, is right here, this car in the middle of the plaza, this, this cop went and arrested, I think it was four of them, but they had this one guy in, the, in their cop car, and then the students just blocked the car. They wouldn't let it leave. And more and more and more students came until this entire plaza, this entire plaza was covered in students. And you know what they did, and I don't know if Mario Salvo did it first, but they went to that cop car where you know one of their one of their uh, comrades is there in the in the car. They took off their shoes, walked up on top of the cop car, and started giving speeches. And they just and so you had this organic takeover of this plaza where I'm standing right now. You had this takeover and uh, they turned it into this grand assembly. This is where the civil rights began in the north. So they just stood up there. I think, you know, I think it was like 36 hours it lasted. It was just all these kids, all this pent up, you know, they didn't know that anything was going to happen. And, you know, then these thousands and thousands of kids. And it united people across the spectrum. You know, even like the right wing groups were working for their civil rights. Right? That was, that was a really good thing about that first, that first one. So, uh, I'm glad I could show you the spot.